Welcome back everybody to the Cowboy Slot Channel where I bring you experienced advice from years of working in the casinos, tips, reviews, and a whole lot more. To episode number four of our continuing series on how to identify the best paying slot machines. Now as a reminder, this is a series and this is a continuation. So if you haven't seen the previous episodes, go back in the playlist and check those out. Also, be sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell to stay notified for when the next episode in this series comes out. Once you've completed all videos in this series, you should be able to better identify those great paying slot machines. In episode number four, we are covering one of the most important parts to identifying a slot machine. In fact, it's the biggest part of actually identifying a slot machine. I'm talking, of course, about the pay table. The pay table is all of this information right here that you're going to see on any slot machine. How to read all of this information, what it means, and what you can tell about a slot machine just by looking at this information right here. The first thing that you're going to need to get out of your mind is a lot of people give way too much focus to the actual payback percentage of the machine. While that is an important part of the slot machine, the bigger factor is actually going to be the pay table. In the following episodes of the series, we're going to cover more information about how to utilize the pay table to identify the best machines. But the pay table is going to be like your ultimate manual to deciphering if a slot machine is going to be good to play or bad to play. You can learn just about everything from looking at the pay table on a slot machine. Everything from how volatile it is to how likely it is to hit that top line jackpot. So let's get started with some basic information on what to look for when you're looking at these pay tables on slot machines. The first step, of course, is going to be understanding how the RNG of the machine actually pulls the result from the pay table. Each programmed payback percentage of the machine has a different pay table that is associated with that percent. So for example, if the machine is set to a better payback percentage, it's going to have more options on the pay table to choose from for higher hits. If the payback percentage is set lower, those options for hitting higher are going to be limited and it's going to more gravitate towards the lower hits. If you were to look at the internal programming of a slot machine, you would see that the payback percentage has a different game number attached to it as you change the percent. The reason being is because as you change those percents, it changes the pay table options that the game, the RNG, has to choose from. So now that you understand how the machine pulls from the pay table, let's talk about the biggest factor when you're actually looking at the machine and how you, the player, can tell which machine is going to be the better option for you. The first step is a very, very easy one, and that would be to pick a very, very simple, straightforward machine with a small pay table associated with it. The reason for this is because the smaller the pay table is, that means that the RNG has less numbers to choose from, which in turn betters your chances. And this is also the basic breakdown definition of how to identify a low volatile machine. If you're not familiar with volatility, there is a video in my library that does explain it. You can click in the card in the top right hand corner of your screen, or I'll also put a link in the description of this video down below. The more options that a pay table has to choose from and the bigger a pay table is, the harder it's going to be to hit on that game. So that's why simply glancing at this glass or glancing at the game rules of any digital machine, if you see a lot of options on there, chances are it's a high volatile machine. So stick with something very simple. Did you know that some of the lowest volatile games out on the casino floor that's available still today, both in new versions and in old versions, is actually the triple diamond or double diamond version of slot machines. These games are notorious in low volatility and they have a very small pay table to choose from. In fact, the double diamond and triple diamond version of these games are notorious for hitting the triple 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 or the double 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 very easily. Remember that the RNG is going to pick from the pay table. If the pay table is small, it has less numbers to choose from. If the pay table is larger, it has more numbers to choose from, which makes your chances increasingly harder. Also, games that have a lot of different symbols or a lot of different multiple lines are also higher in volatility. They have more options for the RNG to choose from. Remember, the key here is you want the RNG to have less choices, so you want to find a machine that is very basic, very simple, and very straightforward, especially if you're playing a high limit slot machine. So let's move on to step number two of picking a better slot machine by looking at the pay table. Say that you have several slot machines all together and they're all very simple and straightforward. Maybe you have some double diamonds, triple diamonds, triple stars, 
Double Strike. You have several games that have very simple pay tables. Which one out of that group do you pick from? Here's where comparison comes into play. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to want to look at is under the two coin option or the max credit option. And remember, this is just an example. So this pay table could have one, two, three, four, or five. You wanna look at the highest paying line and that highest paying number right there. Once you've identified that number, you're gonna to wanna to compare it to other machines that are very, very similar. This would be similar in denomination and similar in bet amount. So just for an example, if you have five machines and they're all dollar denomination and they're all two credit max, then you're gonna look at that number on all of those machines. The bigger that number is, the harder it's going to be to hit on. The smaller that number is, the easier it's going to be to hit on. If you take those two steps when looking at a pay table, you're gonna be able to identify the volatility of a machine in a split second right at a glance. As you perfect this method, you're gonna to want to again, follow that step one that was in episode one of this video and walk around the casino and look at machines that are all within that same denomination that you picked within the same bet amount range and look for that top number on that pay table. Now, if you're curious to know how a progressive comes into play, we're gonna talk about progressives in a future episode. This is a series, so be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to stay notified when the next episodes come out. Also, if you missed the first three episodes, go back and review those, because by the time this whole series is complete, if you've watched episodes one through the very end, you'll be able to identify the best paying slot machines. Always remember guys that when you are comparing pay tables on slot machines, you want to make sure that the denomination of the slot machine is consistent for all the machines that you're comparing. Also, that the bet amount is consistent. You wouldn't want to compare the pay table on a penny machine to the pay table on a five cent or a dollar machine. Those are not equal comparisons. So if you're looking at a whole bank of machines, make sure that the denomination is the same and the bet amount is the same. In the next episode, episode number five, we're gonna talk about some variables that come into factor when you're looking at these pay tables. We're gonna talk about those variable factors such as bonuses, multipliers, and also those progressives. The biggest takeaway from this episode is that a pay table on a slot machine is going to be your ultimate manual for picking the best paying slot machines. Remember, keep it very, very simple, and always, when you're comparing machines, look at the top number under the maximum coin amount. You can use this method when comparing any slot machine, be it three reel, five reel, an older school slot machine, or a brand new digital slot machine. Just always remember with those digital slot machines, they do a very good job now of hiding the pay tables. So when you sit down at a brand new machine, click on the button that says, see pay table or see instructions and make sure that you read that over. It's very, very important and not a lot of people do it. Thank y'all so much again for tuning into the Cowboy Slot channel. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell to stay notified when the next episodes in this series come out. As always, best of luck to you, stay safe, and we'll see you again next episode.